I basically watched his hands for my adult life, I, I, my yeah. whole life, basically. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, so you want to take that fat cap off of it because it just kind of brings everything out of it. When you, uh, what time do you, does, like, a guy come down to, like, start prep on steak? Me? Yeah. You oh, dep de depends on the day. It depends on if it's Friday, Saturday, you know, Saturday. Sunday. Saturday. Saturday oh, it takes me about two hours to cut the beef for the day. But it's prime rib, it's New York, it's filet, it's everything that we do, so. Did you figure over, how old are you? 40? 39, 40. 39? When you started watching your dad at? Eight, eight. Seven. Well, I mean, I remember I was like, made me this high, maybe here. And so just like you could see over the, yeah. over the, cause this is the same table. So it's like, I would just kind of, I don't know. And I would watch him cut beef, but it was a kind of a therapy. It's a therapeutic thing though, too. Like mm -hmm. if I'm having a bad time or I'm having a bad day, if I come in here and start cutting some beef, I tend to feel better. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just the Neanderthal in me, I guess. I don't know, but. It's gratifying. Oh, it's amazing. Looking at something that you're gonna produce later on for the evening, for sure. Did you see Grandpa cut? Oh yeah. Well, he ran a butcher shop in uh, in Dearborn. I've showed you that picture. Right? Michigan. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen that. Seen that thing. So we run that butcher shop. <laughs> But it's good product, you know, and it's, you can't, go and find that anywhere else at Safeway and try to find, you know, or bashes or whatever butcher you have and try to find that product, like, it's going to cost you what's going to cost you, especially right now.